All right, guys, so since the last couple of guns that we took a look at were kind of in the mid category, today we're going to be looking at a gun that I know is actually still kind of broken. Crazy thing is, this is actually a pistol that outdoes most of the SMGs or ARs in this game, and it's probably not the pistol that you're thinking. I know we've given the Renetti a lot of praise here, but today we're going to be taking a look at the X-13 from Modern Warfare 2, and when we put on the impact point barrel on this thing, it actually turns it into like a little SMG pistol hybrid. This gun is absolutely insane in Modern Warfare Zombies. I mean, especially if you put that MAGA holding on this thing, almost nothing's gonna stop you. We're gonna be doing a bunch of testing with this thing all over the big map, and then we're gonna go on in and do the original OG Dark Ether. With that, welcome on back to the channel, everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. Appreciate everybody that's tossed by the video today. If you're into zombies content or anything Call of Duty, rock the hell out of that like button for me and subscribe to the channel, guys. Just ended up hitting 21,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the crazy support lately. It truly does mean the world to me. And this pistol is definitely one that you guys are not gonna wanna miss, and not only that, but this run, but something absolutely crazy happened to me in this match that's never happened to me before in Modern Warfare Zombies, so you're definitely going to want to check it out. I can't wait to get into everything about this loadout and this run after a brief word from today's sponsor. If you guys want to unlock the new Mark of the Survivor camo, or possibly even any of those Get Higher camos here in Modern Warfare 3, and you really just don't have the time to put in to get these challenges done, well then be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And with all the great reviews, Views on Trustpilot, you guys should definitely check them out. Be sure to use code REALG for 5% off your entire order for a limited time only. Now this is one of those guns that I can say without a shadow of a doubt, absolutely hands down, still here in Season 5, if you guys haven't tried out this weapon yet, you definitely need to. This thing is still acting exactly like it was all the way back in Season 3 when this thing was incredibly broken, well guess what, it is still the same way here in Season 5. I don't think this weapon has been touched one bit, and you know what, even back when this game first launched, I was saying that the Modern Warfare 3 weapons kind of reign supreme in this game, well I don't really know right now. We got guns like the FR Advancer, and then we got this gun, the X-13, we got guns like the F-Tag Siege, just some of these guns from Modern Warfare 2 are just crazy good. I did notice a few comments of people telling me that the FR Advancer and other guns from Modern Warfare 2 are actually locked for them, and I think what's happening here, I think that these are players that possibly don't own Modern Warfare 2, and they might be playing Modern Warfare 3 off Game Pass or something like that. So I think if you don't own Modern Warfare 2 on your account, you're gonna have the Modern Warfare 2 weapons locked. Now I could be wrong on this, but I do believe what these players are gonna have to do is you're going to have to search for the Modern Warfare 2 guns guns out of the mystery box or from wall buys. You can even find them inside of loot chests and things like that. Once you find the gun that you own or even just any gun that you don't have unlocked yet, go ahead and uh, take that gun and then exfil with it and that should unlock it for you. Because I do know that at least here in Modern Warfare 3, like if we get a DLC weapon that we don't have unlocked yet and if we find it in Modern Warfare Zombies, if we end up exfilling with it, then that unlocks it for us. So I'm pretty sure it should work the same way. Can we just talk about how fast that this X-13 just shredded through those mega abominations? Nations, I got to admit, man, that it was actually incredibly fun to use. Absolutely nothing in the red tier zone stand a chance with this thing. Now, if you don't have the mega holding yet, it is still going to be pretty damn good. I mean, with the uh, drum on it, you're going to have 50 rounds, and then after you pack a punch, you're going to be sitting on 100 rounds before you have to reload, so it's not too terrible. Especially if you have speed cola, the reload on this thing's pretty damn fast. With the largest drum and mega holding, you're going to be sitting on 600 rounds, so I mean, it's not too terrible. It is a decent amount of ammo, but you might find yourself running out from time to time, like even when I was inside of the dark ether here and I did the escort, I was finding myself running out and I was just running around trying to find some, so be wary of that. That is one of the only real big downsides that I have to this pistol. Other than that, I absolutely love this thing. I mean, it just has the power of an AR. It has the movement of a little pistol. Recoil might not be the greatest, but once you get dead shot, that's not really too much of a problem. I mean, RIP to my mouse and keyboard players. Just so many things to love about this little pistol and I love returning to it each time that I do. It's just so much fun. It's one of those, like, guns that you kind of forget about for a while because there is a lot of guns in this game that are actually really good but I mean every time that you come back to it you're like man this thing absolutely shreds. I don't know if you guys could tell here in the video but I was fighting a little bit of lag throughout the entirety of this match like there was a little bit of hitching here and there. It wasn't even happening just a little bit it was happening to me like every five seconds it actually just increasingly got worse once we got into the outlast contract you guys are gonna see it actually got really bad. Almost to the point that I thought that my game was actually going to crash let me know down in the comment section if you guys have been 
been experiencing this. I mean, for me, from my personal experience, usually if my game is feeling like laggy or buggy or whatever, if I come inside of one of the dark ethers, especially if I'm playing solo, that usually kind of levels it out and fixes it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't really the case this time around. For some reason, it was actually just increasingly getting worse as the match went on. Whether for a good while in Season 4, we were having some really bad lag issues, but I thought they kind of fixed that for the most part. I mean, for the majority of the part, my matches have been pretty good. For some reason today, I've had these two matches, two matches that were pretty damn laggy all the way through. It's a possibility that it could be my internet or something in the area, but if I really had to bet on it, I would say it's the Call of Duty servers. Once I got to the end of this Dark Ether run, the lag was actually so bad I wasn't even going to chance running around and getting all the wonder weapons. Plus, my back was completely full of something, and you guys are going to be like, what the hell when you see this? I've never gotten so many of these things in one match of Modern Warfare Zombies before, and I have played just an ungodly amount of this game. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys got any crazy loot stories from this game so far. I mean, I've had so many runs where I just get a little bit of everything, like I've had just some of the best loot runs you could absolutely imagine, but this was just kind of something else. If you guys didn't get a chance to catch the previous video, for one, you guys should go watch that, and two, just a little bit of a Zombies News update for you guys, we will be getting the first Black Ops 6 Zombies gameplay trailer tomorrow. Definitely extremely excited to see that, and we're going to be doing a full reaction and breakdown here on the channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Everything that they got going on with all the Black Ops 6 marketing and everything that they've shown so far with like the cinematic, I am just extremely excited for this. Eric has definitely got away with marketing that is just so good. And if everything that's going on with all the zombies YouTubers, I mean especially Mr. Raffle Waffles with like the whole adventure that he's going on in the United States right now, if that's all actually tied into the marketing too with Black Ops 6, man, absolutely bravo guys. Tomorrow should definitely be good, hopefully we get a nice look at how the movement's actually going to affect the gameplay in zombies. Hopefully we get a nice look at the new Terminus map, hopefully they actually show us around a bit, like to see a little bit of what that new perk is doing, you get to hear some of the voice lines of the characters going back and forth, just stuff like that. I'd really like them to actually show off that new enemy with the spider that's going to be exploding out of the zombies' heads, I think that's going to be really cool. And season 5 Reloaded for Modern Warfare Zombies is just around the corner, I mean we have 13 days left as of right now. I'm definitely extremely excited for that update, I am kind of sad that the game mode is finally coming to an end, but because I absolutely love this game mode so much, I am very curious to see how they're going to wrap up the story, and hopefully they actually end up doing it a little bit of justice, and with our confirmation that we are actually getting a new final boss, I hope it's actually a good final boss. We're also getting some new schematics to grind for, and the new Dark Aether actually does sound really cool. They did come out with the update for this, they did end up using the term replayable experience, and the only time that they've ever said that is when they ended up introducing the unstable rift, so maybe this Dark Aether is going to be a little bit different from the ones that we know already. Even though the Black Ops hype and everything is in absolute full swing, and I am extremely excited for that, I'm not ready to just completely ditch this thing yet. I am fully excited and ready to make content for you guys when this new update drops. Now, coming back to this X13 for a second before we wrap up this video, I mean, I did have a lot of fun with this thing, as always. Every time I come back to this pistol, I am just absolutely impressed with it. You gotta say, though, there is two things that will make this pistol just absolutely so OP, and that is gonna be once you put on that barrel that's gonna turn it into the SMG. It's gonna be the main thing, but if you guys wanna go one step overboard and you really wanna make this thing OP, throw on Mega Holding and you're just absolutely unstoppable. Take a look at this, guys. We ended up ending off this run with seven refined crystals in the pack pack. Seven of these bad boys. I don't know why the game wanted to feed me these things, but hey, I guess I'll take them. Plus, we got an ether blade and a dog bone, so the loot on this run was definitely worth it. What's so gonna be up on the screen right here for anybody that wants to check it out again? I greatly do appreciate all the love and support you guys. Drop me a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if anybody is new, man. Let's get to this 22,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one.